Hello, my darlings. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Maria. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Please subscribe to see more videos like this one. Today, I figured we're going to talk a little bit more about um, our higher selves. This one is going to be a little bit more advanced. So if you're looking for very simple ways to connect to your higher self, this video uh, is probably not the right video for you. Uh, we're going to link another video down below, which is a more simple kind of like step one around connecting to your higher self. Um, you guys know I have a whole podcast called uh, Conversations with My Higher Self. Or maybe you didn't know. If you didn't know, I invite you to come and check it out. But my higher self and I go uh, back to 2018, the year where I had my awakening. And it has been a gradual process of getting to know her and getting, you know, I guess enlisting her as one of my spirit guides. One thing I've noticed um, having, you know, um, having been working with spirit guides for what feels like, what, four years now, give or take, uh, four years and change, not every spirit guide is created equal. Not only do spirit guides have their own agendas and they have their own points of view, right? They don't always transmit and translate the ultimate truth of the universe to you. Not all guides are quite as effective. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I certainly have a few of my spirit guides that when they come through, I'm able to just get so much out of even like three minutes with them that sometimes I, I won't get with some other spirit guides if I spend like an hour talking to them. And so, you know, this is kind of like one of the newer insights for me. Um, it used to feel like they're kind of, you know, there was like a grand average of spirit guides and everything was, you know, everybody is kind of like, you know, um, every new spirit guide was just as effective as the next one. But the bigger challenges I have to face, um, the more I come to realize that you know, not every spirit guide is created equal, but this video is about our higher self. And I don't know if this is going to blow your mind or not, but something that came through recently that I wanted to share with you is this. There are different versions of your higher self, or shall I say there are many layers of your higher self. And when people connect to their higher self, they don't ever know or don't often know which layer or which level of their higher self they're usually connecting to. There are seven main levels and layers of the higher self that I've been able to distinguish. Usually when you first start connecting to your higher self, you go to, so think of them as like levels one through seven. Each level is fairly unique, but of course the biggest difference would be between your higher self level one and your higher self level seven. Their perspectives are very, very different despite the fact that it is one being ultimately, but there is, I guess, a method to this madness. And then there is a reason why every higher self splits itself into all these layers, shall we say. And that is basically depending on where you are at a particular moment in time, depending on your level of consciousness, um, you may be ready to interact only with a particular aspect of your higher self, or you may be able to access all seven, depending on what it is that you truly require help with. Um, I find that levels one and two of the higher self, like if you go to the very bottom layer over here, these are the levels of my higher self that get third dimensional reality the most. So these are the aspects of my higher self that are going to be familiar with the concepts of pain, heartbreak, physical pain, by the way, physical limitations of my body, uh, the concepts of being tired, being under the weather. They're, these are the aspects of my higher self that are going to be most familiar with the Akashic records of the planet Earth, as well as humanity as a whole. They are a little bit more, shall we say, myopic. Not that any aspect of our higher self is myopic compared to our human state, but they're a little bit more down to earth. That's exactly like that. They're closer to the earth, right? Um, and so because of that, they're able to, like this level of higher self is perfect for helping you think through business issues if they arise, uh, relationship issues if they arise, helping you with third dimensional trauma, drama situations, right? Like this is, this le level and layer of your higher self is never gonna be like, well, you know, like, why are you so upset? Or like, why are you so tired? This level of your higher self is probably going to be 
the most sympathetic to your human limitations and the most understanding of them. Now let's go to the other side of the spectrum. So levels of your higher self that are set, starting at around five, but mostly this is pronounced at level six and seven. These are the closest to the absolute, to the creator, to God, consciousness, to source. And so they feel very lofty. Uh, for instance, your lower higher self may say, like your higher self level one and two, may say us and mean humanity. Your seven level higher self is always going to be like they, humanity. And so there is like this big demarcation point between kind of like where you are at and where she or he is at upstairs. And um, at this level of higher self, if you want to connect with this level of your higher self, this essentially is your bridge to connecting to source consciousness, right? So um, eventually, if you kind of like imagine the, if you can keep going up um, below the seventh layer of the higher self, there is source consciousness, right? There is uh, ultimate oneness. So um, you know, next step, essentially post uh, higher self seven is going to be talking to God, which is kind of fascinating. but. Uh, level seven and six, I find their least understanding of, of like my, my limitations. What higher self of level six and seven watches out for the most is your mission, your purpose. Um, this is the part of your higher self that is most connected to the universe at large. It has a very macro view of reality and therefore your path and your journey. It is probably least adept or interested, frankly, in advising you around things that are mundane from its perspective. Like if you've gotten broken up with, level seven higher self is probably not the level that you want to go to. You know, probably want to go a little bit down below here. Um, but the, this perspective is really, really beautiful. I find that, you know, very often when you channel from higher beings, you or other people channel from higher beings, it very much feels like us versus them. And that is kind of how it feels when you communicate to your higher self of seventh and uh, sixth a layer, a level. And, but at the same time, if you're looking for like grand big picture, like philosophical thought, or if you were looking to get your mind blown with just like one insight that's totally gonna shift your perspective, that is the level of your higher self um, that is gonna be most um, conducive to that. Um, levels three and four, um, I find operate um, um, at the Milky Way level at large. Um, so essentially they're gonna be very aware of the greater soup of happening in our immediate galaxy. So this level of your higher self is not going to be quite as close to planet Earth, but they're gonna know what's going on around in the Milky Way. So as, you know, to understand and be able to advise on the impact that you know, um, or the, the period that our planet is going through, right? So there, that level of the higher self thinks a little bit more macro, if that makes sense, but it is still a good in between, not as lofty as source consciousness and not as close to skin as planet earth. And then, um, level five is usually, um, think of it as our galaxy and the neighboring galaxies, right? And, and the reason I draw this distinction is obviously our higher selves are infinitely wise beings. And, um, but from the perspective of like, let's maybe like take it, take a step back and understand how does this split even happen in the first place? So our higher self are incredibly, uh, our higher selves are incredibly aware of the fact that once we get incarnated, the going can get pretty hard. A lot of us, most of us have to go through the veil of forgetfulness, right? As we're still going through a um, cycle of incarnations, trying to find our path, trying to find our way. And of course, our higher selves understand, right? That if they were to advise us always from the lofty perspective of oneness or being one with source consciousness or their level seven, depending on where we are, which planet we're incarnated on, this may be just in and over our heads. And of course, our higher selves want um, to have a really um, fruitful relationship with us. And so the higher self creates these little anchors. And these seven anchors usually are maintained by the higher self across the life uh, of a virtual reality system like the matrix. So this current version of the matrix that we live in. Um, so essentially a higher self will build the seven anchors once 
And then, you know, for the entire life of this virtual reality system, it's going to use the, the same anchors. And essentially how this works from your higher self is it's like a projection, right? So like a stream of its consciousness um, is going to go and literally like get descended up upon a particular plane of existence and it's going to hold on to that, right? Almost like establishing a foothold or a home base in that level of existence. And then it's going to be able to advise us from that level of existence. Um, alrighty, last but not least is this. Why am I telling you all this? Because this is like, okay, Maria, even if I connect to anything out there, it's already a big win. The answer is yes. But once we start going um, deeper down the rabbit hole, I feel like it's such a blessing to be able to do it at an advanced level as opposed to just scratching the surface. So here's the deal. You will, I think you will find it fascinating talking to each of the seven layers of your higher self if you haven't already. For how, how do you connect in the first place? In order to do that, you can use the same elevator exercise that I talked to you about. So imagine that you are traveling in the elevator of light. And, you know, and this is essentially the elevator that connects you to your higher self. Imagine that the elevator has seven buttons, one through seven. You would enter the elevator and you would press the button in accordance with what, you know, and in accordance with what level of your higher self you want to connect to at that moment in time. Um, and then essentially you would walk out, meet your higher self. By the way, if you also have like a visual, so like if your third eye is operational, your higher self may even look different. Uh, at these different levels. How he or she comes or it comes across to you may be very different on these different layers. For instance, um, when I talk to my lower um, higher selves, they usually look humanoid. So um, usually my higher self would take up um, the shape of my human body if I'm talking to her at level one, two, and sometimes three. If I'm talking to my higher self level seven, it's white light. That's it. Like I'm not getting any shape or form. And like, her voice comes like from the clouds. <laughs> it's like God talking to me, kind of. Uh, that's how it feels, right? So very different experiences and very different questions. And by the way, if you ask the same question to the seven different layers of your higher self, because these are different perspectives, you're going to get seven different answers, including, oh my God, which is going to blow your mind, the question, what is my purpose? You ask it to the different seven layers, that, you know, your higher self is going to, your higher self is going to have a different opinion. Imagine. I find it fascinating just as a study, like an existential study of existence um, and, and, and a study of reality. And you can go pretty deep. One thing I will tell you is this. Going through all of my experiences, right, working with my guides, I have found that now I get to call the shots, meaning if before whoever wanted to come through, I'm an antenna, right? I'm a receiver. They just came through into my orbit and they got to advise me. Or if I have 20 minutes to meditate and I'm having, let's say, a novice guide guiding me through the experience, the 20 minute experience, I feel like I'm not getting much out of it. And sometimes I'm disappointed. So you will find that you resonate the most with one of these seven layers, so maybe two. Uh, like there's like a sweet spot between where you are right now in your life, in your incarnation, and which level of your higher self can be most helpful to you at this moment in time. You may even ask your pendulum, which of the seven is your most optimal level to be connecting to. By the way, organically or automatically or by default, you may be connecting to a whole other level. You never know. And But once you figure out having spoken to all seven, traveling up and down that elevator, pressing the different buttons. Once you have figure out, figure, once you figure out which one is the one, what is your sweet spot? Then next time that you connect to your higher self, you should connect to that particular one, right? So you get to be picky and choosy. You have free will in the same, um, in the same way that when I meditate these days, very often, if I need to get serious work done, I go to like my top three spirit guides that are always able to give me results or are able to share a perspective that I find additive yet crystal clear to me, right? And you're going to be able to do the same if you like do the tuning and understand, okay, like this is the level of insight I'm able to get from my higher self level seven. This is a level of insight that I'm able to get from um, higher self level three. And this is level of insight that I'm able to get from higher self level one. By the way, by the way, while each of these levels are able to connect up to connect upwards a lot easier than you would. 
people to as an incarnated human. They don't all have the same access to the Akashic records, just so you know. And again, not to blow your mind, but depending on which level of the higher self you speak with, they will have different access codes. So of course, the one that is up top level seven has access codes that are the closest to absolute consciousness, to source consciousness. And the one that is below would have access codes that are most similar to you. Now, again, there is no such thing as like the perfect answer, right? I think that the beauty of this is the calibration. In the different periods of your life, you may be drawn to a particular version of your higher self. And I guess uh, when we're, um, you know, little did I know when I started recording my podcast conversations with my higher self, that depending on what topic needed to be channeled that day, I would either get, like I would get one of these seven layers. Um, I'm personally connected to all seven, but um, it, you know, initially it was like more of an, um, for me, it was more of a surprise, like of what level would come through. And um, at first I was even weirded out by it a little bit because sometimes my higher self would come and it'll be like humanity they, uh, or like humanity you. And, 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 and sometimes my higher self would come through and be like humanity us. And I'm like, okay, it's the same higher self. <laughs> Why am I getting like different pronouns? Do you know what I mean? And so I started digging deeper and apparently not every higher self is created equal. Okay. I don't know. Did this blow your mind? It kind of blew my mind when I first realized this and what, but, what, but it even blew my, it blew my mind even more once I started practicing it and, and understand, understanding that actually there are like layers to everything or level, levels and layers to spirituality and spirit guides and there's just so much more. We can get so much more advanced even than this. Um, let me know, um, you know, uh, if, if you have been connecting with your higher self. And by the way, if you do the pendulum exercise, I'm super curious to what level of the higher self you have been automatically connected to. Maybe the pendulum can tell you. And yeah, I'm super excited to hear you guys' feedback. This was very fun for me to record. Hopefully this was helpful for you. I'm sending you a big virtual hug. I'll see you in the next one.